guys, welcome back to another episode of Camp Cooking with Kylie. Um, I can't wait until we can actually go back camping again so you don't have to see my ugly mug out the front of my house anymore with these ugly hedges behind me. We <laughs> have a nice view, which would be pretty sick. Um, tonight we're doing jaffles. So I've been trying to get jaffles off, we will trying to get Frankie to get a jaffle maker for me since Oh, what, for five years, for as long as we've been going camping for, like I've been trying to get him to get one for me and he just hasn't done it. Like I grew up on jaffles, you know, tin spaghetti kind of thing. You, mum's like, oh, you've got to cook tonight, so I'll just have a jaffle kind of thing. So they're really, really yummy. They're so, there's so many different ways you can have a jaffle. Um, tonight we're having a pizza jaffle. So we've got like salami and mushrooms, everything that you'd put on the pizza kind of really where Putting inside a jaffle and we're also doing a different one with salmon white sauce asparagus and cheese and stuff like that it's really really yummy so um we campfire australia um has supplied us with some jaffles so they're on the fire at the moment and they're just warming up because we need to grease them and stuff with some butter so i might go get them now and we'll grease them all right so i've just got some butter and we're just going to grease these So these are double jumbo cast iron waffles. So, oops, they're good, they're good for us because like there's the three of us where we go camping. Alrighty, now these are all greased up. For the pizza one, we're actually going to use some bread. So whatever bread you want. What you're going to do is we're going to pop it in here fits perfectly kind of just I push it down a little bit just to give me some depth Got some pizza sauce squirt that around so tonight we've just got some bacon some salami, mushrooms, pineapple. So put some of this on. And grab some bacon. Yum, put some mushrooms in. I would have olives, but Frankie's a downer and doesn't eat them. So I'm not allowed them some onion. I'm only going to put onion on one though because Chelsea's having one and she doesn't like onion so I won't put onion on hers because I'm a nice mama. <laughs> some pineapple. Bacon. That, 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 that. Cheese. Cheese. it on top and then just flip this over sandwich it perfectly all right so we're gonna do the salmon one uh, we've done this with puff pastry just because I mean puff pastry is better and it's buttery and it's nice with salmon and it's just not good for you okay so <laughs> it's, it's amazing so anyway, the actual pop pastry squares are perfect for these daffles. They fit perfectly. So obviously take the plastic off because that's choking hazard. Can't be eaten that bad. All right, so just place it on. Just let it lie there kind of thing. You can see where it's gonna go. So, We've just bought some bechamel, white sauce, lasagna sauce kind of thing. Um, if you really want to make your own white sauce, you can, but we're super lazy. So just chuck that in. All right, so now we've got some smoked salmon. Lay one down, so quickly. Okay. 
So I've got some chives here, we'll chuck some chives on. Now we need to put some asparagus on. <laughs> Alrighty. Asparagus, chuck that on there too. I'll just break that off. Fold it up a little bit so it fit. Put some cheese in there as well for added goodness. I probably wouldn't eat this if you're on a diet. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do. I mean, on the lips, laughed I'm on the hips. <laughs> All right. And then I'm just gonna put a little thin layer just on this side of the white sauce again, just to hurry it. So just exactly the same. Just chuck this over, fold it in half. Like that. One thing I forgot to mention is with puff pastry, you actually need to kind of pinch the sides of it a little bit, just so the filling doesn't come out. So just pinch like you would if you were making like an apple pie or something. Like that. Now we can pop it on the fire. Right. Yeah, nice. Mm. Yeah. So while those traces are cooling down because they're extremely hot, um, I'm gonna make the dessert so it's cooking while we're eating. Um, so we're gonna do Nutella, banana, and strawberry on puff pastry. Now obviously fresh strawberries would be way better, but we couldn't find any. There was none in the store, which is real shit. So um, we just got packet strawberries. I mean, they're gonna be cooking anyway, so it doesn't matter. So just grab your puff, it's exactly the same as before, like just grab your puff pastry. So it's good to remember that the puff pastry in total, I reckon we cooked these ones for maybe like 15 minutes each side and that was pretty much on an open flame. So if you're gonna be doing it on coals, it might take a little bit longer than that if you're going to use puff pastry. The toast, the bread obviously didn't take as long. But just keep that in mind, if you're gonna be using puff pastry on an open flame, it did take us 15 minutes each side. <coughs> All right, so Nutella. I get some chucker on. So just chuck our banana on now. Strawberries. All right. So just the same as before. Picking it up and pinching the sides. Just like sticking them together. Pop these on. For approximately 15 minutes each side, and then we're gonna have some gooey dessert. Chocolate's going a little bit there, but okay, just clear that bad boy. Yum! So there you have it. What I make that? Go home and try it yourself, guys. Get a job maker. Get up Campfire Australia. Got some mad things here. Cook yourself some daffles. Have a campfire. Have a beer. Live your best life. What do you think? That's good. That's good. <laughs> I'll definitely eat this again. Subscribe and follow on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Explore by adventure.